Welcome back to another episode of Animal Farm, where we explore the amazing and mysterious world of the animal kingdom. Today, we are diving deep into the Pacific Ocean, a realm of mesmerizing beauty and hidden wonders, where an astonishing array of marine life thrives. But here's the shocker, folks. A startling revelation has surfaced, the Sunflower Sea Star, a once mighty predator of the ocean floor is now on the brink of extinction. This is a huge blow to the marine ecosystem, as the sunflower sea star plays a vital role in keeping the balance of nature. So, without further ado, let's get into it right away and find out what's happening to this magnificent creature. The plight of the sunflower sea star has caught the attention of dedicated scientists and researchers who are racing against time to rescue these incredible marine beings. Among them are individuals like Melissa Torres from Birch Aquarium at Scripps and Margarita Upton from Steinhardt Aquarium at California Academy of Sciences, who are committed to turning the tide of adversity. In the face of adversity, a ray of hope has emerged. Scientists have united in a groundbreaking collaborative effort to help sunflower sea stars reproduce and ultimately reintroduce them to the wild. The sunflower sea stars, with their charismatic and swift movement in kelp forests, play a vital role in maintaining the balance of the ocean's ecosystems. Their dwindling numbers have set off alarm bells, and it's a race against time to ensure their survival. The crisis began in 2013 when a mysterious ailment known as sea star wasting disease began to wreak havoc along the Pacific coast. Millions of starfish, including the sunflower sea star, were afflicted by this ailment, which caused white lesions on their limbs and led to their untimely demise. It was a year that witnessed not just the tragic fate of these marine creatures, but also an unusual phenomenon known as the blob. The blob was a marine heat wave that engulfed parts of the Pacific Ocean, raising sea temperatures to unprecedented levels. This environmental catastrophe aggravated the challenges that sunflower sea stars were already facing due to the sea star wasting disease. The sea star wasting disease was not exclusive to the sunflower sea star. It affected numerous species of starfish, but it was particularly devastating for the sunflower sea stars. Their population experienced a dramatic decline, stretching from the warm waters of Mexico to the frigid reaches of Alaska. In California and Oregon, sunflower sea stars are now considered functionally extinct, signifying that their numbers have dwindled to the point where they can no longer fulfill their essential ecological roles. This crisis led federal officials to make a crucial recommendation last March Sunflower sea stars should be protected under the Endangered Species Act. The repercussions of the sunflower sea stars' decline extend beyond their own species. Their absence has paved the way for sea urchins, voracious grazers of kelp, to flourish shunchecked. Kelp forests, often referred to as the lungs of the ocean, have dwindled drastically, impacting the health and balance of marine ecosystems. In the face of this ecological crisis, researchers across the United States have rolled up their sleeves, working tirelessly to restore the sunflower sea star population. Leading this monumental effort are institutions such as the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California, and the Henry Dawley Zoo and Aquarium in Omaha. Perch Aquarium, nestled at the University of California, San Diego, is a remarkable hub for the conservation of sunflower sea stars. It boasts one of the largest populations of sunflower sea stars in captivity within California. However, there was a unique challenge to overcome. They needed to determine the sex of their sunflower sea stars. Researchers at Birch Aquarium ingeniously induced spawning in the sunflower sea stars by administering hormones replicating a process that typically occurs naturally in the wild. This innovation was critical in their efforts to ensure the survival of these captivating creatures. As the researchers administered hormones, the sunflower stars surprised everyone by assuming a yoga-like downward dog position. 
It was a magical moment when eggs and sperm began to appear, and researchers meticulously collected them. These precious genetic materials were not left to chance. Instead, they were cryogenically frozen for future use. This innovative approach ensures that these genetic resources are preserved for generations to come. Perch Aquarium's efforts, however, are part of a larger mission. The ultimate goal is to create multiple generations of new sunflower sea stars, just as they've successfully achieved at the Friday Harbor Laboratories in the San Juan Islands. This arduous journey took three years, but in February, Researchers at the Friday Harbor Laboratories witnessed a breakthrough as they successfully helped the sea stars complete their full life cycle. Jason Hodin, a dedicated marine biologist leading the Friday Harbor Sunflower Sea Star Project, has played a pivotal role in this success. Now, he's sharing his insights and sea star cookbook with Birch Aquarium, providing the keys to rearing and nurturing these magnificent creatures. Before we wrap up, let's delve into some fascinating facts about sunflower sea stars. They are the heaviest known sea star, weighing up to 13.4 pounds, 5 kilograms. These mesmerizing creatures are also the second largest sea star in the world. A remarkable feature of sunflower sea stars is their ability to regenerate lost arms, although it can take several years for a full arm to regrow in their natural habitat. They are preyed upon by sea otters, seabirds, and large fish. Sunflower sea stars play an essential role in the marine ecosystem by helping to control sea urchin populations. Their presence keeps the sea urchin population in check, preventing overgrazing on kelp, a vital component of marine ecosystems. Moreover, they provide a valuable source of food for other marine animals contributing to the intricate food web that sustains life beneath the ocean's surface. The race to save the sunflower sea stars continues. With scientists and institutions working together, there's hope that these captivating creatures will once again thrive in the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. Now, it's our turn to take action. The survival of sunflower sea stars is intertwined with the health of our oceans, and each of us can make a difference. Here's how you can help support conservation efforts, contribute to organizations and institutions dedicated to the conservation and restoration of sunflower sea stars and their habitats. Promote ocean awareness. Share this video and the story of sunflower sea stars with your friends, family, and on social media. Raise awareness about the importance of preserving marine life. Reduce your carbon footprint. Climate change is a significant threat to marine ecosystems. Reduce your carbon footprint by conserving energy, reducing waste, and supporting renewable energy sources. Responsible ocean exploration. If you're an ocean enthusiast, practice responsible snorkeling and diving. Respect marine life and their habitats, and avoid touching or disturbing these fragile ecosystems. Support marine sanctuaries, advocate for the protection of marine sanctuaries and the enforcement of regulations that safeguard our oceans and their inhabitants. The time to act is now. Together, we can be the stewards of the ocean, ensuring that the sunflower sea stars and countless other marine species continue to thrive. Join us in preserving the wonders of the deep blue, for their survival is a testament to our commitment to a sustainable future ensuring that the sunflower sea stars continue to grace our underwater world.